Welcome to Oceans of Possibilities Summer Reading for the week of July 3rd, 2022, Preschool Age Group, Part 2. Is This a House for Hermit Crab? By Megan McDonald, illustrated by S.D. Schindler. Hermit Crab was forever growing too big for the house on his back. It was time to find a new house. He crawled up out of the water looking for something to hide in, where he would be safe from the prickle pine fish. He stepped along the shore, by the sea, in the sand, scratch, 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 until he came to a rock. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? Turning himself around, Hermit Crab backed his hind legs beneath the rock. The rock would not budge. It was too heavy. So he stepped along the shore, by the sea, in the sand. Scratch, 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 scratch. Until he came to a rusty old tin can. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? When he tried to walk with a can on his back, it bumped and clunked. It was too noisy. So he stepped along the shore, by the sea, in the sand. Scratch, 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 scratch. Until he came to a piece of driftwood. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? Hermit Crab crawled deep inside the rounded hollow at one end. It was too dark, so he stepped along the shore, by the sea, in the sand. Scritch, scratch, scratch, scratch. Until he came to a small plastic pail. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? Climbing up towards the rim, oops, he fell right in. He clawed and he clawed until he climbed back out. It was too deep. So he stepped along the shore by the sea in the sand. Scratch, 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 scratch. Until he came to a nice round hole in the sand. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? He poked his head down into the opening. A huge pair of eyes blinked back at him. Hermit Crab shivered as he scurried away from the big fiddler crab peering out of his burrow. It was too crowded. So he stepped along the shore by the sea in the sand. Scratch, 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 scratch. Until he came to a fishing net. Is this a house for Hermit Crab? Poking his claws into the heap, he got tangled and caught. Hermit Crab wriggled and wriggled until he found his way out of the net. It had too many holes, so he stepped along the shore by the sea in the sand. Scratch, 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 scratch. All of a sudden, a gigantic wave tossed and tumbled pebbles and sand all over Hermit Crab's head. He swirled and whirled with the tide and was washed back out to sea. Sleeker than a shark, the prickle pine fish darted out from its hiding place in the tall seaweed. Every spine on its back stood straight as a steeple. Mouth open wide, it headed right for Hermit Crab. Hermit Crab raced across the ocean floor. Scratch, 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 scratch. Scurrying behind the first creature he saw. It was a sea snail and he hoped it would hide him, but the shell was empty. The shell was empty. Hermit Crab scrambled inside as quick as a flash and clamped his claw over the opening in the shell. The prickle pine fish circled the snail shell three times, but he could not catch sight of the crab he had been chasing. He glided off in search of something else to eat. When all seemed still and quiet, Hermit Crab snuggled comfortably down in his new shell. It was not too heavy, not too noisy, not too dark, and not too deep. It was not too crowded and did not have too many holes. At last, Hermit Crab had found a new home and it fit just right. The end. We're going to paint shells. Um, so your craft to go kit includes true seven shells, I think. Um, they're all different. Um, this is my first shell. It's big. Be for a really big hermit crab. Um, these two kind of shells here would be good for hermit crabs. You can see they can crawl up into the little holes. Put this aside. This one too. Um, these little scallop shells would not be good for hermit crabs because there's nowhere for them to hide for just underneath but it'd be hard for them to cart their body with them so what we're gonna do these are more for 
scallops. Okay. We're going to paint. So what we need is some paint. Now I am using acrylic paint because acrylic paint stays on better. However, if you're worried about getting it on your clothes, you might just want to use tempera paint and just make sure you don't get your shell wet. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the acrylic. And I have six paint brushes. Mm. So I don't mix colors, but you can always use one paintbrush with water and I have a paper towel here to wipe um, my fingers and stuff off on. Um, but all you're going to do is go ahead and paint the shells however you'd like. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a rainbow shell. Um, and remember, you don't have to paint every spot on the shell if you want to leave some white. Um, you can do polka dots, you can do stripes, you can paint a picture on some of them. I think you might be able to actually paint a picture on the um, scallop shells because they have more of a flat space to them. But um, I'm just going to do my best here and see how it turns out. So here's my shell all done. Um, like I said, I painted it rainbow. It's kind of hard to see the blue and the purple there. But um, this is what it looks like. And underneath, I left the inside white. You don't have to. Um, that's about it. Go ahead and paint all, all of your shells and enjoy. Mm -hmm.